Hello students, myself Dr. Chaya Biyam, Associate Professor, Department of ECE, Sai Vithya Institute of Technology. In this video, we will be looking into digital input output interface, analog input output interface and pulse input output interface. So, uh, we have uh, several uh, process related interfaces with different quantities like analog, digital, pulse, telemetric quantities. So, which can be later categorized into three sections. The first category is uh, digital input interface, analog input interface and pulse related in interfaces. Digital input output interface. So, in this slide we will understand what is digital input interface. So, here we have to understand that plant outputs are basically the logical signals. So, in the digital input uh, interfaces, the CPU is reading input from the plant. CPU is trying to read input uh, from the plant. So, plant outputs, whatever it is sending, it is basically, as mentioned, it is logical signals which appears on these lines. So, which is then connected to digital input register. So, output from the plant is transferred usually one word at a time. So, DIR will have the same number as the number of bits in the, this computer world. Okay, uh, it will be receiving uh, logical signals varying from 0 to plus 5 volts. Suppose if this plant output uh, using are using different levels apart from one word, then some conversion techniques have to be used in order to make it compatible with the digital input register. Now we have to understand how to read lines connected to this particular digital input register. The CPU has to read all the lines, uh, all the data which is present on this digital input register. How to read it? First, the computer has to place the address on the address bus and um, address. Then you need some decoder circuitry in the interface to select this DIR. So, to, so to select this DIR which is nothing but digital input register. In addition to this select line, enable, enable line is also required. This could be provided by the read signal. This could be provided by the read signal from the computer control bus. Okay. So, in response to both the select and enable signal, so both select and enable signals are high, then the digital input register will enable its output gates, will enable its output gates and puts data onto the data bus and put data onto the data bus and that's how it reads line connected to the from the DIR. Simplified read input diagram. So, in this way, we are trying to understand the transfer of data which is governed by the CPU timing. So, for, for this system, it is assumed that the data transfer requires three machine cycles T1, T2, T3. So, the address lines begins to change at the beginning of the cycle T1 and guarantees to be valid for the entire T2 cycle. So, we can see that it is guaranteed to be valid at entire T2 cycle whenever this is guaranteed. So, read line also becomes active. Read line also becomes active for the correct operation. DIR that is digital input register has to provide stable data at the negative going edge of the T3, negative going edge of the clock during T3 cycle. So, this is where uh, the DIR is providing the stable data. So, uh, the actual time taken to transfer the data from the data bus to the CPU may be shorter than that of uh, time for which data is valid. Digital output interface where the computer is sending its data to the plant through DOR that is digital output register. So, all that is required is nothing but a register or a latch which can hold the data from the computer. So, it has to hold the data from the computer for a while and it should be sent to the plant. So, at every milliseconds, microsecond, the data will be changing. To avoid this changing of data in the register, so what we need to do is that the output latch must respond only when it is addressed. Only when it is addressed. The enable signal indicates to the device that the data is stable on the data bus and can be read. 
I repeat the enable signal which is present here it indicates to the device that the data is stable on the data bus the data is stable on the data bus and it can be read latch must be capable of accepting data in very short time maybe up to approximately as mentioned microseconds the output from the latch is set to logical signals uh, like 0 to plus 5 volts so that's how it reads uh, from the computer data plant is reading computer data through digital output register and this digital output register is acting like a latch and uh, the latch this latch must be capable of accepting data in a very short time and that uh, when this output gates are enabled it should be able to send data which is uh, ranging from typically 0 to plus 5 volts analog interfaces so here we need to understand analog input interface where computer is uh, reading information or uh, data from the plant so since it is analog interfaces computer has to read the analog uh, data however as computer always receives a digital data some conversion of analog to digital measurement has to be done which involves two steps first is sampling and quantization sampling the signals uh, that are arriving in our real world we know that it will be basically analog signals to process these signals in computer we need to convert into digital form then the, to convert the signal from continuous time to discrete time a processing is done which is called as sampling so this is the first method of conversion from analog to digital signals value of a signal is measured at certain uh, intervals of time uh, now what do you mean by quantization quantization is nothing but representing the sampled values of the amplitude by a finite set of levels that is converting amplitude sample into discrete time samples Am converting amplitude sample into discrete time samples this quantization may take from few microseconds to several milliseconds so we can see that the computer issues a, a start signal so when it issues a start signal that it can it is now ready to read the plant uh, data okay uh, now the multiplexer uh, which is present here is used to switch several input lines to single adc so before it is sent to adc uh, there is something called as a sample and hold circuit on input to the device so this circuit is um, basically take samples from analog input signal and hold them for particular period of time and then that outputs the sampled part of the input signal so once it has been sent to this adc on completion of the conversion so here in the adc we they can use several types of adcs which is whichever is compatible to that particular application and uh, the conversion is being made from analog to digital so on completion of the conversion the adc raises a ready signal a complete line will be activated which is earlier pulled by the computer so this is uh, nothing but an analog input interface analog output system so it means that the system is intending to send its data from computer to the plant so we can notice there are several dacs that is digital to analog converters which is connected to a data bus and appropriate channel is selected by putting the channel address on the address bus by putting the channel address on the address bus dac itself acting as a latch so this is itself acting as a latch which holds the data uh, for some time uh, until the next value is being sent so uh, basically the conversion time is typically ranging from 5 to 20 milliseconds and the output which is being sent is varying from minus 5 volts to plus 5 volts or minus 10 volts to plus 10 volts and the current output of uh, 0 to 20 milliamps so current output is ranging from 0 to 20 milliamps in case of uh, analog output interface systems 
पल्स इंटरफेसस् सो इन दिस सेटअप वी कैन अंडर्स्टैंड दट बोथ इनपुट एंड आउटपुट पलस आर प्लेस्ड सो वी हेव इनपुट इंटरफेस एट दिस एंड एंड इनपुट आउटपुट इंटरफेस आउटपुट पलस इंटरफेस ऐ कैन टेल यू सो बेसिकली इट कंस ऑफ काउंटर्स विच इज कनेक्टेड टू अ लाइन वी कैन सी इट इज कनेक्टेड टू अ लाइन फ्रॉम द प्लांट ओके एंड दिस काउंटर इज ऑलवेज रीसेट अंडर अ प्रोग्राम कंट्रोल एंड अ फिक्सड लेंथ ऑफ टाइम द कंटेंट्स आर बीइंग रेड बाय द कंप्यूटर सो हाउ इट विल रीड एट एवरी फिक्सड अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम द कंटेंट्स आर बीइंग रेड बाय द कंप्यूटर सो द काउंटर विल हैव अ लॉजिकल सर्किट दैट टेक्स केयर ऑफ द लेंथ ऑफ टाइम एट व्हिच काउंटिंग हैज टू बी कैरीड आउट so this length of time is decided by the real time computer further the enable signal is also been activated which must exhibit the counting of pulses so that is how it reads uh, a computer reads from the plant so now it is to be processed to the plant so now and uh, the at the pulse output interface so same uh, enable and signal is activated and is been sent to the pulse train generator it generates three types of uh, uh, output uh, pulses first one a series of pulses of fixed duration a single pulse of variable duration or a variable length and pwm is nothing but pulse width modulation where a series of pulses of different width sent to a fixed frequency so for type 1 so as mentioned we have three types of signals first is series of pulses of fixed duration maybe it will be like this okay so where uh, how this is generated computer generates such type of on or off signals uh, and it will be loaded into a register with number of pulses to be transmitted this pulse output sent to a plant start decrements the register contents and when the register contents is zero the pulse output will be turned off so, so this is how you send the type 1 output and we have uh, it also generate the second type of output that is a pulse a uh, single pulse of variable length single pulse of variable length so in this type to output the computer has a logical line where it becomes high or low and sends variable length of pulses to the plant once it loads the register it specifies the length of the pulses required this type of variable pulse system is usually or typically used to operate process control values the third category of sending or uh, i mean generation of the pulse is it will be in terms of pwm pwm is pulse width modulation in general it will be used for uh, speed control of dc motor digital communication power electronics auto intensity control of street lights and so many things so for type 3 that is pwm it is used to generate pulses okay and uh, in this type fast pwm stream will be produced and later converted into linear analog output using low pass filter thank you